yeah, um, thank you, Jakob, um, and thank you um, to all the SWIP um, organizers for giving me the opportunity to present our project, ORCID for Wikidata. I slightly uh, changed um, the title of the presentation um, from what we actually do, um, um, a workflow for matching author items and publication items um, to the purpose of this workflow, the improvement um, of bibliometric data um, in Wikidata. Um, I will start with an introduction to the relevant databases, uh, Wikidata and ORCID. Um, in the following, I um, will explain how we prepared the data for ORCID and um, for the ingest to Wikidata. And this is actually the main part of the presentation. And then I will introduce in the functionality of our bot, um, ORC bot, uh, that works on the consolidation of the existing data. Um, what is important to understand here is um, what is meant by um, a bot in the context of Wikidata. Um, a bot in Wikidata is a program that is allowed to upload um, large um, scale data and in addition it is also um, quality controlled by the community um, and finally um, we're going to see um, some results of this uh, project and on, of this enrichment yeah um, I guess um, most of you will know Wikidata um, uh, but I will shortly introduce it anyway um, Wikidata is a semantic um, database that anybody um, can edit and use. Um, Wikidata functions as a um, central storage for many um, Wikimedia projects, but it is also um, used in um, external services, for example, in the uh, Google Knowledge Graph. And yeah, since the data is community curated, we are also um, allowed to uh, contribute to the data, which we're going to do in this project. Um, and the last statistics um, of um, the current shares in Wikidata, which are unfortunately from um, the beginning of 2020, um, um, they um, show that almost uh, a third part, so um, this is uh, the, yellow, um, the yellow one, um, of all entities or, or items, how it is called in Wikidata, are scholarly articles, and only about 9% um, are humans. And those 9% uh, percentage um, include not only scholars and authors, uh, which are interesting and important for um, our project here, for the matching of article items and author items, um, but these 9% um, uh, also include um, actors, politicians, long died kings from Middle Ages, um, yeah, famous gangsters as Acaponi and whatsoever. So um, you see there is um, already, mm, we see in this picture that there is a, a misrelation uh, between the scholarly articles and the authors and that is going to affect um, what we will see in, in Wikidata later on. Yeah. Um, Another peculiarity um, of Wikidata um, is um, something that uh, Simon Kopp draw attention to in his talk at the virtual Wikisite conference um, a month ago. And I can highly uh, recommend um, his um, interesting talk um, on author items. You find the um, YouTube link below um, on the slide. And uh, yeah, he, um, he shows in one of his slides in his talk um, um, yeah, the average number um, of uh, statements uh, related to author items. We see the x-axis. Um, um, there is an increasing number of Q um, IDs um, uh, with regard to author items, and the y-axis indicates the number of statements that are related um, to those items. And here we see that uh, more than half of the author items have only few statements. Um, so we have a lot of entity with only uh, very few information and yes um, semantic uh, databases rely on quantity uh, but also on the quality of data in terms of um, statements and information that um, is given with uh, with those items and also here um, this has also um, already made us think uh, we want to work on the consolidation and the improvement of the existing information uh, rather than to introduce even more um, thin data um, our use case um, for the reuse of information from Wikidata and where we first experience the potential. Um, okay, you, you, it's those um, lines between um, the bubbles are not really visible in this um, knowledge graph. Um, um, I, um, I, I wanted to show here, but I guess you, you get an idea. Um, mm, 
Um, yeah, so um, we had the use case in a, in a research uh, project, which is called um, Cure Active, and we try to enrich our bibliographic data with information on authors um, using the Wikidata API. And in the upper part, so the, the white thing here, um, <clears throat> this shows our initial data set, um, which we aim to expand by reusing information from uh, Wikidata. And the lower, um, this uh, blue part, um, is the uh, information we wanted to um, um, to get from uh, Wikidata and to supplement our uh, bibliographic data set. And we tried to enrich um, different uh, data dumps uh, with, uh, with um, the API, but we came out with an overall uh, low coverage. So we had never more than a uh, certain percentage, um, which uh, referred to the very actual data dump um, related to uh, COVID-19. Um, and for um, the more general data sets uh, containing also yeah, old papers that might not be fully digitized um, yet or that are not registered to Wikidata yet, um, there, there we had um, always um, um, a, a coverage of um, about uh, five percentage. So this is really low. Um, the reasons for the low coverage um, we see um, is partially um, that at least from our experience, um, the Wikidata API cannot um, deal very well with huge amounts of queries. And this will also affect our own uh, workflow um, for, um, for the preparation of data. And I will um, later come to this um, again. Um, and for sure, um, a lot of uh, publication items are missing in Wikidata. Um, especially for older publications, as I just um, stated, and analog, um, also many authors uh, may have not been listed. And we had um, already seen the misrelation between the huge amount of scholarly articles that made up a, a third of all entities in Wikidata and the entities that um, refer to humans. Uh, but the main reason we see um, is the lack of the relations. So here, this, this part. Um, the lack of the relations between the existing publication and the author items in Wikidata, um, they need to be established by a property, um, which is P50, has author. Um, and if you have a um, bibliographic data set at, at we had, so this part here, um, um, you got public publication identifiers as a DOI or a PubMed ID, um, and then you can identify the publication. But to, to reach um, the information of the author, there needs to be established this, um, this, um, yeah, this property, so this relation between both. Um, and here uh, we go. We found it essential to um, establish more publication author relations in Wikidata on a general basis. Um, yeah, where can we get those publication author pairs from? Fortunately, um, there's the ORCID database and ORCID um, provides a persistent identifier for researchers um, who introduce information on their own scientific biographies. Um, as, um, and as they are supplied the information themselves, about themselves, um, the data can be considered as of high quality. And this, um, there is a CC0 license that uh, makes it uh, reusable for us. And the statistics tell us that currently almost 10 million scholars um, claim almost 63 million works and mostly publications, but also videos and so on um, as their own work. And using um, the ORCID publication author pairs, um, this is also great because we do not have to deal with all the trouble that um, author this ambiguation um, um, brings, because we can we can really rely on the on the data because those people um, state um, that they are the originators of um, this or that publication, and this is really re re reliable. Yeah, um, based on ORCID, um, we could uh, easily introduce even more publications to Wikidata. We could also introduce a lot of more authors. And we can establish this um, connection I um, already talked about between um, the existing items. And this is um, what we finally also um, decided to do. Also, in the um, after consultation with the community, uh, we made the decision um, not to include even more um, items with few statements 
as we have seen before. Instead, we want rather work on the improvement of the existing data. Um, so how do we prepare the data um, for ingest to Wikidata? We um, created two um, main uh, data sets. Um, the first is on uh, publication, we see in this slide, the next you'll see on the next slide, and the second is on authors. Um, and we um, we create those data sets by combining information from ORCID and from Wikidata. So we harvested um, from ORCID all publications and identifiers, which you see here in the, in the greenish um, area. Um, and then we checked if they are already listed in Wikidata and added the, the publication QID if they are listed. Um, um, and after this, um, we also um, uh, requested Wikidata if there are also listed authors to the publication items yet. So these ones. Um, and so all authors um, that are already registered to the publication as originators we have in this, um, in this part. Um, so for um, the harvesting of Wikidata, we earlier used um, the Wikidata API, um, as we did for um, the re retrieval in this um, QActive uh, research project, was, uh, where we came out with this um, low coverage. Um, and because we had um, kind of the same problems, um, um, we um, um, later on we, we, we started to avoid uh, this um, huge uh, loss of um, of the recall with the API, um, and therefore we, we changed the workflow to the complete download um, of Wikidata, and now we are going to use uh, the dump for the harvest of the relevant information, which is um, pretty handy. Yeah, here you see um, the author data set, um, uh, which we created in, in the second step. Um, so we again, we harvest the researchers on ORCID, and then the, the greenish um, part, and then we um, we check if those um, researchers already are registered to, to Wikidata, which is uh, the blue part here, um, and add those um, QIDs to the data set. And then finally, <laughs> um, the org bot uh, comes into place. Um, um, our bot, um, the bot combines both data sets um, using the ORCID ID as key. Here we see that it is combining, and then it checks um, if um, uh, the um, the author QID is um, already um, listed in this all authors QIDs um, section, and um, and um, yeah, and um, it checks if it's already um, yeah completely introduced to Wikidata already, and if this is not the case. Um, the org bot creates a JSON template. Uh, we see an example here um, containing the author information, and then the org bot uploads um, the JSON to Wikidata using the command line command line um, interface um, Wikidata CLI. Uh, and what we see here in the in the bottom um, right is a snapshot of the output of the Wikidata uh, website. So in the in the greenish yellow um, rectangle, uh, we see this um, <laughs> yeah um, multiple mention p50 statement has author, uh, and we see that um, here um, the author Daniel uh, Feuermann was introduced to this um, to this um, item of a of a publication. Yeah, so um, I come to the conclusion, to the results. Um, applying the orgbot, um, we perform two approaches um, for the preparation of the data. First, uh, we, re we retrieved um, the information um, by the Wikidata API, and relying on um, those data, we had been able to improve more than um, 12,000 uh, publication items by register their originators as authors. Um, However, to avoid the loss, um, I already explained um, the, the loss in the uh, data recall uh, while checking the existing data items, uh, we changed over to the retrieval of the complete um, data dump. And now um, we um, um, 
um, we already um, worked through um, about 15 percentage of the new um, databases and we have been able already to enrich more than 33,000 um, publication items, which is already more than uh, the double number uh, we reached with the API-based um, approach. So um, theoretically, um, it should be, make no difference um, if we have with the data um, the one or the other way. Um, however, it is uh, much more fast and more efficient using the dump um, for the preparation. Um, how we continue? Um, uh, yes, we we are going to continue with the <laughs> with the rest of the of the information we have. So we um, in the second uh, run we just. Um, worked on 15 percentage, um, as, I, as I mentioned, um, but um, um, yeah, we're going to uh, continue with this and um, a very first step um, we need to do is to include um, the information from um, the, um, I, I would say, uh, the normal author name string, um, the, um, yeah, just the string, so not the author um, statement. Um, uh, we have a picture here and there are um, um, several information in this statement, uh, which is uh, uh, P2093. Um, 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 and here we find the series ordinal, which is uh, the order of the, um, the authors in of a publication. So you know that in many um, research fields, uh, the first author is very important. And so it is necessary to bring this information also up here in this area. This is um, the next thing we um, are going to do, and in the in the same run, um, we will also uh, remove this um, this uh, Daniel Feuermann um, from this also name string part, so that he is only um, part of the first um, thing. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I have to finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the last on, the, on your previous slide, one question was already answered. Uh, what we to do about the author name string? Um, mm -hmm. So you are going to take into account this too. There's another question about a uh, reference. So uh, wouldn't it be uh, better to also add a reference statement uh, where the information ca came from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, so um, uh, 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 you, so the maybe the person means um, to add it um, in uh, that it comes from um, ORCID from ORCID, database. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally um, yeah. true. Yeah, we have to do then, that. <laughs> Thank then, you. Good idea. Yeah, there was a question about the license that was also already answered. Orchid is mm -hmm. zero, so you can yes. uh, easily do this. Um, but what other databases could be used for such a task? Maybe this is not oh, only a question to you, but uh, do you already have something in mind when this Orchid data is uh, uh, all imported? You have some other mm, data? Yes. Actually, there are so many databases you could use for enrichment of um, of wiki data. Um, so I don't know the uh, GND database uh, would be really nice. But I, so it's always a problem that you need to, to find. So for this matching um, thing, um, this is this is kind of um, a special thing uh, for the enrichment because you always need to have um, um, the identifiers from several um, areas. So for the person in our case and for the uh, publication. And also, so it's cool that we have in, in ORCID also the affiliation um, identifiers. Um, and so you need some to find a data, um, a database where um, several um, identifiers from several areas are um, mapped already so that yep. you can bring up um, this to yeah, so data. a very good use case of identifiers and how multiple databases can come together uh, here orchid and wikidata so in one direction another uh, last question what um, are there plans to also move the data in the, in the other direction from wikidata to orchid Oh, okay. This is not possible because Orchid, um, um, the the people um, um, supply the the information on their own, and so we are not we we cannot uh, we cannot bring bring any data for other people from Wikidata to Orchid. I don't think it's possible. We are not allowed to do this. This uh, would be fundamentally against the principle of Orchid, I guess. Okay. Yeah. 